Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. I want to thank you so much for being here on the Valder Beebe Show because my next guest, they are going to help you want to sing once I finish speaking with you. But first, I want to recognize Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You guys told me you love the Valder Beebe Show online, and I love what I do. So thank you so very much. So moving on, I have two great guests for you. I have film director David Charles Rodriguez, and I have artistic director Tim Seelig. They are here to talk about the MTV documentary film, Gay Chorus Deep South. Guys, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. I want to start with you first. Um... You, let's start with you, Tim. Uh, they told me that this documentary film brings hope and acceptance and love to the small screen. So tell me what it's about, Gay Chorus Deep South. Wow. Well, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, first, I'm <laughs> going to start by saying that I conducted the Turtle Creek Corral in Dallas, Texas for 20 years. And I only lived in, in Texas for 60 years before moving to San Francisco and taking the artistic leadership of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. So when the election happened in 2016, uh, the chorus was planning a tour actually to mainland China, but we changed our minds and decided that we would go to the South and um, just spread love and, and lift up our LGBTQ brothers and sisters and sing concerts. So we ended up with just under 300 people piling on buses in Jackson, Mississippi and doing exactly what I just said. And it was absolutely uh, an incredible journey. And that's the premise of the movie. David, over 300 singers traveled to Mississippi, Tennessee, throughout the Carolinas, and even over the historic bridge in Selma, the Pettus Bridge. What did that mean to you to want to include it like that or to tell us about that? Well, the moment that, you know, the chorus, the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus and the Oakland Interfaith Gospel Choir, um, you know, on the, from Mississippi to Alabama, they did a stop at Selma. And they first congregated inside of the Brown Chapel, the AME Chapel, where, you know, there was no audience. It was just for themselves. And, you know, some of the historical leaders that had crossed the bridge with Martin Luther King um, got up and spoke to them. And I think that moment um, is really when things clicked that, you know, this wasn't a tour. This was a movement, you know, and it's not just a movement for the LGBTQ community. It's a movement for everyone who's the other. You know, everyone in this country and, you know, in the world who suffers some sort of oppression for being a minority, um, you know, it's time for us to get together and hold hands and, and cross this bridge. Because the moment that minorities get together, you know, we automatically become the majority. Tim, I'm going to go back to you. You know, they say this journey challenged uh, uh, your, your, excuse me, Tim, it Yes. Challenge, excuse me, challenge David. My screen was flickering, so please excuse me. And other chorus members who had left the South, who had left their fears and their pains and their prejudices behind. Were you impacted personally? Oh my goodness, yes. Um, I had, um, you know, I had had my own uh, very traumatic coming out um, when I was in Houston in a Southern Baptist minister of music. And um, I had I had fled basically, you know, even that being a big city. But we, uh, our chorus is filled with people who have come to the big city because they felt ostracized at home and and left or been thrown out from their families. And it happens all over the United States. What was really fascinating was going to the South and meeting many people who had made a conscious decision to stay right where they are in their small town or, or large town across the South and make a difference and do the hard work. And it was so inspiring to meet those people and you will also meet them in the movie. Today, I am talking with a guest about the MTV documentary film, Gay Chorus in the Deep South. And I'm talking with the film's director, David Charles Rodriguez, and the chorus artistic director, Tim Sealing. Tim, I'm going to, uh, David, I'm going to wrap up with you. The conversations that have emerged because of this film, did they tell us more things that bring us together rather than divide us or the opposite? 
Um, you know, the, the experience of the tour and of, of showing the film um, around the country and around the world, um, you know, it really, it really showed us that we have a chance um, to reunite and we have a chance to come back together. You know, that despite what's going on, you know, um, despite what you see on social media and in the media, you know, the moment that you make prejudice personal and that you get together with people, even people that have opposite views, um, there's no way but to find commonality and to and for the humanity of each side to kind of win over each other and 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 create some sort of you know gathering you know um I think variety called the film you know uh, a big group hug and and that's really what it hopes it does for America um, when it when it comes out on TV this Sunday well I'm watching my audience on social media and they're giving you guys a big thumbs up. So that must be me. Well, do job well done. Okay. Nice. When do you guys want us to tune into this documentary film on MTV? So the film is going to premiere on this Sunday at 9 PM. Um, it's actually going to premiere on logo TV, pop TV, and on the streaming platform, Pluto TV. Um, so it, it begins on Sunday at 9 PM, ju just in time for the holidays. Um, but then after that, it will be streaming continuously on Pluto TV. Oh, Pluto, one of my favorite channels. I want to thank you, Tim and David, for being here and to giving people a wider perspective and helping us to grow from who we are to who we need to be. And sometimes it takes forward thinkers like you guys to help us expand our minds. So thanks for being my mm -hmm. guest on the Valder BB thank Show. You. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you. That was it. so sweet. You appreciate guys it. have been excellent guests. Thank you and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.